Welcome back for a minute with Manning. We uh, had a question about um, car chases, which I'm also going to elaborate, like foot chases too, all involved in this. Um, being in a car chase is obviously really fun uh, on my end uh, as an officer because it's one of our action-packed things we get to do, um, but it's also very dangerous, uh, not just for the officers involved or the people that, the suspects that are involved, but also the general public, which are things that we have to consider during that chase because if... Uh, you know, high speeds, weather conditions, traffic, um, if they're on the, driving on the wrong side of the road, things like that we have to consider. Um, generally, we're trying to get multiple vehicles involved uh, or other officers to like corner in the person, use spike strips, etc. Um, but generally, it's uh, when you don't have anybody getting hurt, it's a good time. Um, as far as foot chases go, um, they're a little bit more exhausting than the, uh, the car chases. Um, and it's about the same kind of gist of where you're coordinating with other officers and getting a perimeter set up to locate the person. Um, cause a lot of times you don't have to be fast with the person. You just have to be able to keep eyes on them and communicate with the radio because whether it's a foot chase or a car chase, you can't outrun a radio. So, um, those are the things for a car chase. If you guys want to know more, just ask whatever you guys need.